morning. We are hearing from a Buddhist monk who was attacked during a robbery in South Nashville. Metro police are still searching for the suspects after releasing surveillance video from that incident. Peyton Kennedy is live now at the temple in South Nashville with the victim's first hand account of what happened, Peyton. Yeah, talking with him, the scars are still physically and mentally there. He walked me through exactly the struggles he faced trying to stop this robbery and the pain that he still feels on his neck. They stole almost $4,000 of his money, and most of all, he says he wants it back and for these five people to go to jail. Now, this happened on Sunday around 9 a.m., but Metro Police tell me it wasn't reported until Tuesday. The monk who lives alone at the temple says he heard a knock at the door and he says something compelled him to crack it open. He says a woman was holding a baby saying it was sick and needed help. And before he could think, he says the robbers forced themselves inside, knocking him down. In total, the suspects appear to be a man and four women. We're told two of the women went through the temple for several minutes taking cash. As the group tried to leave, the monk grabbed onto one of their bags to try and stop them and that's the surveillance video that you see here. Eventually they broke free and left the scene in a silver Toyota van. It's the first time in my life that somebody left me like this. I never happened like to me like this. Every time I'm talking about it happened, I, I feel, you know, it's the same thing that I feel that the day that happened to me. But I'm not scared. Of And talking with those inside the temple, they say this is a similar story with similar suspects popping up across the country. So they want other monks to be aware and cautious as investigations continue. In Antioch, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.